be thankful when you hit rock bottom. You finally hit the rock bottom. There's nowhere else to go but up. Magandang hapon, Pilipinas at buong mundo. Ako po si Boya Bunda. I'm your host for tonight. And this is the first episode of GCash Spotlight. We're going to talk to thought leaders who provoke us to ask the difficult questions, the hard questions, and demand for answers. And ladies and gentlemen, today on our first episode of GCash Spotlight, Please welcome the one and the only Heart Evangelista. Hi everyone. Hello. I'm so good. I mean, I'm I'm very, very obviously happy, grateful. And gorgeous. Thanks to Michael Leva and everybody. She's really brilliant. She's really We're talking about Michael Leva, po, isang uh, Pinoy na designer na napakahusay. The last time I saw you was at the airport. You yeah. know, I remember December 26, I was flying to Taipei and you were flying to Japan. Yeah. And Chiz and you were somewhere and I was running to immigration and you were on the floor. Yes. What was happening? What I were was, you doing? I was packing my stuff. You were packing Yeah, I was packing stuff. my stuff and I was arranging things with because it's malami. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, you know, I was telling my friend, say hi, takbo ng takbo kung saan saan. You know, you're always moving, you're always busy. Uh, one day you're in Japan, the other day you're in Manila, then you're in South Korea, in Paris. You're very busy, not just busy, that's an understatement. You have a frenzied schedule. Paano mo minamanage ang mga ito? I think it starts with, I really love what I do. So that helps me a lot with energy, with you know being fast with your content and all of that. I do love it, but also at the same time, I'm super grateful. So instead of complaining, I'll just take it. I'll do all of it, even the bad stuff. Of course, you, you, you die from time to time. <laughs> I think I've been to several funerals of myself self in the past. But, I mean, everything is all about innovation. And I love how fast-paced my life is. Moving, moving, and moving just moving. Moving and moving and just, you know. I have so much respect for you because... Me too. Of course. Because you work so hard. Whatever you are, wherever you are today, whatever you have today, pinagtrabahuan mo. Hmm. You work so hard. But, uh... This is what I wanted to ask. Hard, whoever you are, whatever you are today, how much of that is hard work and how much of that is luck? Um, I feel like it's all hard work. I mean, there are a lot of like things in your life that happens that you feel like you're really gonna give up. Sometimes you don't even have opportunities, but then that's when you need to, in a way, embrace your situation and grow and innovate and you know, just find a, a facet about you that will bring you somewhere else. Something will happen. Again, you know, my husband told me, um, you should be thankful when you hit rock bottom. You finally hit the rock bottom. There's nowhere else to go but up. And that's what I'd always remember. Just be yourself, be kind as much as you can, and dream big. Really, nothing is impossible. I still dream today. Um, no, we're talking about luck, so you don't believe so much in luck. I think it is, of course, part of it because most of like with my journey, um, I was just really at the perfect time at the right time, you know? Okay. So it's also that, but I believe that you have to strive to put yourself in that place. You can't just sit down and, you know? Right. No, you have and to. And wait. Yes. And you are also right now embracing the new era. Yes. You know, of, of a lot of good things. Better spending, better saving, better investments. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are today the progress icon and the brand ambassador for GCAT. Congratulations. I know. I'm so happy about this. Congratulations. Like, actually, um, with my friends and my family, like, oh my God, heart, because everybody uses GCAT. So I didn't even think that they'd make me the wallpaper. So it deserved the couture dress. So I was so happy because, you know, for me, Gcash is, comp they're always innovating. And, you know, I can totally relate to it because I travel a lot. I do spend a lot. I invest a lot on myself and my future. You don't have to be how I was years ago that I didn't know anything. This, this 
Gcash will help you with your life. But the interesting story here is that you were so involved uh, in the campaign, in the creative journey of your collaboration. How involved were you? And share with us some stories. Um, for fashion weeks and for my reels, I do my boards, so I would draw and sketch. And I had a lot on my mind, but I didn't say. They, they, when we had dinner, and they asked me. And so, I, first I said, we have to wear the couture dress. Para ma ROI na yan. Para ma justify, <laughs> <laughs> ma justify na natin. And another thing, um, I, you know, I wanted to be fun. Um, like uh, the quick quick. Uh, it's really me, you know. I mean, not because like I'd prepare and I'd go there, but you know, sometimes you really crave for quick quick or fishbowl or whatever. That was your idea. Yes, <laughs> I feel like on social media, everybody thinks it's uh, perfect and yan, but you know, I'm really, I'm really all around. You know, I, I could be in Paris and I could be elsewhere. Of course, I don't want it to be like when I'm like fake and yan. it's really true. So I had scenarios that I said, especially. The one in France where I, I presented the, the G Cash card. And, right. And um, I said, oh my God, that's so cute because it's universal. You can use it abroad, and which is super great. It was a good message that, ah, pwede na pala siyang gamitin din. It is a global pay card. It is so, a global card. And if you're talking about card. coverage, you're talking about quick, quick to Paris. Exactly. Actually, I, I had another board. My okay. other board was I was in random places and then, babe, pa G Cash na wa, laging, babe. <laughs> I did a, a, a reel before, I miss cheese, I miss cheese. And then I want to do this, that babe pa G-cash nun, because it's true, sometimes, you know. Sino bang mas malaking balance sa inyong dalawa? Um, ako po. <laughs> <laughs> Sino ang mas maraming ginagastos kung G-cash? <laughs> okay, I wanna go, I wanna go to the poster. And let's talk about the couture gown. Yes. That's, what, what is it? Who are you wearing there? This is a Scaparelli couture gown. Is that how you pronounce it? Scaparelli, Scaparelli. yes. Scaparelli. Scaparelli, okay. And it was actually, I promised myself that when I was close to 40, that I would start collecting my own pieces. And this one is very special because when you, when you have a couture gown, the reason why it's so precious is because when you own this gown, you're the only one in like your region that can own the gown. Okay, hard as a fan, mm -hmm. you know. I, I don't even know how to pronounce Caparelli, but I've uh, had readings about her. Um, magkano yan? Siyempre, hindi ko sasabihin, pero meron ako 30% off discount because I would always say that I'm kind of one no, of their the like, house friends. Is this as expensive um, as a car? I mean, uh, can I buy my tuition fee for four years because of this dress? Studio na condo. Pwede? Siguro mga nasa studio condo. At ne, oh, studio, pero with a 30% off discount, pwede kang mga mag, pwede kang mag car. Oh, okay. <laughs> pero nabawi ko na siya. <laughs> <laughs> Nag-ROI. Nag-ROI No, but that's really interesting. When you buy a couture gown, ano yan? Uh, because I really hear a lot of stories in Paris. For example, hindi naman lahat qualified. Hindi naman lahat binibentahan daw. Do you fall in line? Do you have a, have a contact in the couture house? How does that happen? Well, with Scaparelli, it was, for me, it was important because they were actually one of the first shows I attended for Paris Fashion Week. And they just reopened at that time. They, they weren't yet the Scaparelli it is today with, with Daniel. Um, they were still beginning, so they had a different creative director. But because I had such a long relationship with them, and you know, I'm not really anyone, so for them to keep inviting me, I thought that it was my time to give them okay. something in return. And I felt, for me, it was important. Because, you know, I mean, uh, some people think fashion is pompous or what, but for me, it is my story. It's, it's my... It's my uh, armor, you know? It's your core. It is. It's your so story. It's your me, truth. I, I would like to have that dress. Right. Nakasabay mo na ba yung mga si Aling Ana, halimbawa, Winter? Lahat sila. Lahat? Yes. But you know who's the sweetest? Bella Hadid. She's really, wow. really sweet. I love it because she's Talaga. so pretty. Are, are you friends? Do you talk to each Siyempre other? Hindi. Ah, hindi. No, no, but you had a chance to talk to her. No, but like out of character, Sha. When it was the curtain call, and all the models were walking past and they had their game face okay. on. I was looking at her. I think I had a smile on. Tapatingin siya sa nung tumi and they usually fierce. Nung napatingin siya sa shan, she went like this. I'm a bitch. Yeah, just a little bit, but you know.
It's I fun. love it. I, I mean, love uh, it. Even pleasure. Gigi had did is so nice. Because I bumped into her one time and tangkad tangkad niya. So mukha na akong from Lord of the Rings, di ba? Kasi hobby chin niya. <laughs> Ang laki niya talaga. Tapos uh, nabangga niya ako. Tapos oh, sorry. So, oh. Okay, but the thing is, you know, that's how you look at them. But in this country and other parts of Asia and the world, people are just crazy about you. Everybody wants a piece of heart. You know that. You know, I have a lot of gay friends. I counted last night. At least there cannot be less than 50 who want to be you. A heart I am telling you from the bottom of my heart. Can I just say? You are aspirational. Can I just say? I mean, I'm confident as a person. But honestly, like, when there are events, because I'm so happy about Gcash, I never really, you know, thought that people would appreciate my kaartehan, you know, like, I'm, so I'm very, very grateful, honestly. Okay, Super. so, um, I mean, I, I want to go back also to Gcash, yes. because now I discovered with this conversation that you can actually pay, you know, stuff in Paris. And yes. You can buy you can kwekwe. Pay, exactly, because when I travel, I don't travel so much with cash because it's just too dangerous. So, I'm really, you know, card basis and it's easy. So. That's the nice thing about it. And then in case of emergency, pay pa Gcash naman. Okay. Everything is an emergency. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is Gcash Spotlight and we have a special fast talk version. Okay. Okay, you ready? We're going to do this in two minutes. Uh, heart and our time begins now.